The discussion today comes out of a matrix of <coughs> repeated violations <coughs> in the executive branch of our Constitution, statute, and international treaties. Just to give you the usual list, we have a problem of secret courts, secret law, secret prisons, criminal wars of aggression, torture, illegal surveillance, arrest without charges for indefinite imprisonment, and a whole variety of other uh, violations that have become chronic. We're not talking here with episodic uh, violations. All in the, in the sub-matrix of what Bruce Fine pointed out, which is the president acting in secret as prosecutor, judge, jury, and executioner. Now, this, is, this is a constitutional crisis of gravity that towers above anything that went on in the 50s under Senator Joe McCarthy, who was not part of the executive branch and didn't have a military division at his disposal. So out of this matrix, what is astounding to some of us in Washington and there are exceptions, Professor Jonathan Turley, Professor David Cole, here and there around the country, is that the law schools, the law professors, the law deans, the law students, and the chronically irrelevant law journals and law reviews <laughs> are oblivious to what's going on. And last year, sent a letter to the president of the Harvard Law Review and said to this new president, President Obama was formerly president of the Harvard Law Review. You are the intellectual <coughs> focus at the Harvard Law School. Would you consider having a symposium entitled The Presidency and the Rule of Law, where President Obama is at the symposium, is questioned by a group of Harvard Law Review editors? The, the president of the Harvard Law Review refused to even answer the letter. When a reporter called up, he says, no comment. When the reporter said, does this mean no answer? He says, no answer. This is the future. This is supposedly the best and the brightest. What will it take for the law schools who should have that Paul Revere function and should be on the ramparts and should be exercising foresight and should be the sentinel the early responders to, per, to realizations of the decay of our legal system from constitutional to statutory to international treaty levels, what will it take to wake up the, these institutions? And if they don't wake up, you can be sure that one million practicing lawyers and dozens of state and local bar associations aren't going to wake up either. What will it take, short of a drone strike at a convention of constitutional law. <laughs>